Hi, so today I'd like to talk a little bit more about ultrasonic cleaners and which one that you should buy. So often I recommend the Crest CP500HT. It has a heater, it has a timer so that you can control how long it stays on, and it's also fairly cheap among high-end ultrasonic cleaners. Now, my friend had told me, you know, you should really junk this so that we can get one that's better, that cleans better, that is, you know, that can fit more boards in it. So we got a Branson 5800 CPX. It was 5800 something with the heater, the degasser, and the timer, and it was all digital. And it cost a little bit more money. This one was two and a half gallons. Now, my staff was telling me, I don't really like this one as much as the old Crest that you had. I like the old Crest. Why can't we have the old Crest back? And honestly, shamefully, I I just thought that they were just being employees and bitching for no reason. Because if you're an employer, you'll notice that sometimes people simply like to complain for no valid reason, or it may be a kind of valid reason, but it's like, come on, is that seriously that bad? And that's what I thought was going on. And then... I was using it for a while and I really didn't notice. You know, I, I was toothbrushing boards every now and then. Or I'd be moving off little bits that weren't clean. I just thought that was something that was always happening. Now, what happened is somebody actually asked me if I were, you know, if I had an ultrasonic for sale or if there's one that I would recommend they buy. And I said, well, I sell this thing. It sells for about 1000 or $1,100 from Allspec. I'll sell it to you for seven fifty. My staff, was, I was getting them this thing because honestly, half of the time, I'm not even the one using the ultrasonic cleaner. So why should my opinion matter? matter. I'll let them get what they want. And over the last few days, since I got back from the practical board repair school, I've been using this and I've been noticing that this, I I was using this toothbrush all the time, like before and after, just to get off some of the junk because I just thought the cleaner wasn't going to get, it wasn't going to get that. This thing gets everything off. And I'm just wondering to myself, what in God's name was I thinking with that Branson this entire time? And what happened is with the person that I sold it to, the post office actually smashed it to pieces completely. So I wound up in filing an insurance claim on it and refunding that person the money, which as bad as it was for the person who bought the cleaner, I feel like it actually worked out best in the end because had I had I realized what a complete pile of crap that cleaner was, a I would have never sold it to you to begin with, and b now that that piece of crap cleaner is gone, you're going to be forced to buy a good cleaner and not that Branson. So it really got engraved into my head that that thing wasn't really that great. So I talk here about it. You should buy a Crest or a Branson because they're good compared to the crappy jewelry cleaners. But this really engraves in my head even more the the importance of buying a good ultrasonic cleaner because Branson is a well-known name in the ultrasonic cleaning industry. They're a very well-known name. They're a name that's known for quality. They're known for putting out good products. The liquid that I buy is made by Branson and their actual cleaner it, it works like crap. There's really no other way I can describe it. I was so used to how it worked that I actually forgot how a good cleaner works until I started using my crest here again and noticed, wow, so I don't have to wipe that off before I put it in there. So I don't have to expect that it's not going to clean that. So I don't have to toothbrush it while it's in there and hot to get that junk off. It just gets the stuff off. Now, another thing that some people are going to say I'm being unfair with this is the actual speed at which it heats. So this holds one gallon less water. It's about 40% or so less water than the two and a half gallon version. This is only the one and a half gallon version. But this heats up, I'm not kidding, this thing will heat up to 80 or 83 Celsius in about an hour, sometimes less than an hour. The Branson, you could have the thing literally sitting there for three or four hours and that thing would not even make its way to 60 Celsius. I actually wound up buying this thing on eBay. It is a water heater that you can plug into a 220 volt outlet. And the Branson with this heats up slower than this does. So my employee, he would come in at eight in the morning. He'd turn on the Branson. He'd turn on heater. I told him, don't use this under 60 Celsius. The liquid, Branson's own liquid says, use it around 60 to 70 C on the side of the Branson EC cleaner bottle. So I'd say use it at 60. And like it would almost be time for him to go home and the thing would be reading 58 or 59 Celsius. So he couldn't even clean a board and try it the same day because in the time that it took to heat the water, his shift would almost be over. And that is just, again, that's silly. Even though it is a gallon more water, the amount of time extra that it took to heat that versus heating the crest is just insane. And, I, and it, like the worst is when I would actually put this thing in there, it would get to 60 Celsius or 61 Celsius, right? I would take it out. And within five minutes, you'd see the temperature with the, with the Branson heater on, the temperature would drop to 57 or 56. 
and that that's that's just that's just unacceptable. So not only does this thing heat up much faster, it also actually does a much better job of cleaning the motherboard. So I, I'm kind of sad that I was using that Branson for a few months. Again, I knew that my Crest was a good cleaner. I knew that it was a good cleaner, but my friend just insisted that I try something new. And he is very arrogant in his opinions. And also... I, I kind of wanted to try something new since the crest that I had, it had been dropped off of a truck many times. The, the, the timer in it didn't work. The heater in it took forever. So what I wound up doing is I got this crest CP500D to replace it. That's the digital version. So not only does it include ultrasonicing and heating, it also includes degassing. <coughs> And since it's digital, I don't have to worry about the, the timer not breaking or not working because that, that is digital. So I wound up paying about 950 bucks for this thing. I bought it online from a good company on eBay. By the way, if you plan on buying a Crest on eBay, don't buy from this guy called uh, Balka Switch Enterprises. Uh, he is a total dick, and they, again, they go above and beyond to just screw with you and waste your time uh, on orders. So we accidentally, we, we, we made an honest mistake, and we made an offer on something, and I made an offer on two or three at a time. I forgot to cancel one of them, and we didn't notice that it was still in the cart. A few days later, my employee checks out buying some screwdrivers or something on eBay, and he accidentally checks out and buys this thing. Literally a minute later, he messages the guy saying that um, we bought this. Is there any way that you can refund us or cancel the order? We don't need the order. I'm sorry. And the guy sends us like a two or three paragraph response explaining how this is not how business is done. You ordered this. You bought this. It's getting shipped. We're shipping it. Like pretty much a fuck you. And he calls and he's bitching and irritated on the phone. And it's just like, well, this happened with somebody else and the other guy, it's a company called Get Met Online on eBay. So that's the company I would actually suggest you buy this from because the price is reasonable and the people there are not assholes. So Get Met Online on eBay, that's where I recommend you buy your Crest CP500HT or your Crest CP500D. Uh, so this guy for this Balk Balk Switch Enterprises jackass is just going on and on and on. And we just said, okay, that's totally fine. You can ship it regardless of us asking to cancel it. Even though it hasn't shipped yet, you can ship it and be an asshole. We're just, we're just going to send it back to you, and you know, we're going to file a PayPal claim. And yeah, so he, the, so when you buy stuff on eBay, try to buy from the good people like Get Met Online, and not people like the Balka Switch Enterprises. Again, if you Google Balka Switch Enterprises, you will find a Yelp page that has dozens and dozens and dozens of one-star reviews with nothing good to say, because again, the, the guy who runs the company is just a prick. But back to the point here. What I found with this cleaner. This thing is just absolutely amazing compared to the Branson. And, and you know what the funny thing is? On average, the Crest units actually cost less than the Branson. So if you're looking to buy an ultrasonic cleaner for your store to clean motherboards and to also use it to make these dead motherboards work again, definitely get the Crest. It heats faster. It cleans better. And it's just, it just feels overall better built. Again, I shipped that Branson across the country. It's made of plastic. The plastic cracked. It doesn't turn on. We, we package that thing very, very well. And keep in mind also, again, you may, you may be saying the post office damaged that thing. I dropped my crest off of a truck. I know because I was the one who dropped it. I was tired. It was the end of the day. I was moving from a basement to here. That thing just went clonk. It hit the concrete and you heard a thud and you saw a dent. And that thing still fucking worked for three and a half additional years. The only thing that ever broke was the timer because I think I bumped into it really hard uh, with something that was in my pocket that was metal and broke it. it you, you can't break this. Again, the Branson thing, you look at it, it feels like a cheap piece of plastic. It looks like a cheap piece of plastic. You look at the Crest CP500D, which you can't see because it's behind a bunch of boxes and stuff on this desk over here, but you can Google image search it and you'll find it. I can't be that lazy. I'm doing a video on a Crest product. I should at least show you what it looks like. This is the Crest CP500D. It's sitting next to a bunch of machines that uh, customers donated or just traded in that I have to get to fixing as soon as I have the time. And this is, this is really an amazing machine. Again, it is durable. I have dropped the older version of this off of a table. I have dropped the older version of this off of a truck after dropping it off of the table. I use that thing every single day for years after beating it. It worked. It heats. If you want this thing to heat up to 80 Celsius, you can do it very, very quickly. You don't have to buy a water boiler to get it to the temperature. And even at the lower temperatures of 50 and 60 Celsius, 
what you're going to find is that when you put a board that has green junk on it in this, when you take it out, it will not have that green junk on it. You are not going to have to toothbrush off the nasty parts of the board. Again, because you'll see this on forums. They'll say before you put a nasty board in the ultrasonic, just brush some of that stuff off beforehand. And that's good advice if you have a junky cleaner. That's a great way to tell that the person who's using the ultrasonic has a crappy ultrasonic. That's a great way to tell that they're probably making the same mistake that I am of listening to an arrogant friend who's going to tell them what to buy instead of buying the product that they should have bought in the first place. A proper ultrasonic cleaner, something like this, is not going to leave junk on the board. And if you need to go up to a higher temperature because you have a board that's really, really nasty, you can do that with this and it will clean the board properly. So if you're thinking about buying a Crest or a Branson, again, I'd highly suggest based on my own personal experience using both of these cleaners, one of them I used for about four or five months, the other one I used over a period of about six or seven years that you buy the Crest unit because it is slightly cheaper and it also will... I suggest you buy the Crest unit because it has better build quality and it will also clean boards better and it will heat up faster and it's just a, it's just a pretty damn sexy machine. So again, ignore the jewelry cleaners. Don't buy jewelry cleaners. Don't buy a crappy ultrasonic cleaner. Don't buy some crap for one or 200 bucks or 300 bucks and expect that it, it do the same job that this thing do. Learn from my experience. I've I, I tried to use cheap, crappy cleaners. They didn't work. I've even bought high-end cleaners, and they didn't work the way I wanted. I don't get paid by Crest for this content. Crest has no idea who I am, but this is something that I'm doing to try to save you the time, the money, and the hassle of, tr- of figuring out which one of these does the best job of saving you some of the time and the headache and the nightmare and the misery of learning on customer products that your tools are not working the way they're supposed to. Learn from this video.